What up, y'all? Alright, well, I've been out and about now for roughly three hours. And the Xbox I was talking about in the video. Now, this is, I'm going to get into something here in a second, but... If someone else saw it earlier and didn't have cash on them and went had to go to the ATM or some bullshit. So he he, he jumped my ass when I, we were all walking out of the uh, Goodwill. So he offered me on the spot 60 bucks. I'm like, okay, that's fine. That's a little bit more than going rate than an, uh, of an average Xbox, you know. So, he obviously either A, really wanted it, or B, was a reseller, and I really wanted to keep it, but I, I, it was 20 bucks, I made 40 profit in about 5 minutes, you know, who wouldn't, you know, I don't know, whatever, but the golden, this is what I'm trying to get into, is the golden age of going to the thrift store and there being Super Nintendos and Nintendos or the last generation of whatever's out for on the low is over. It's done, you know. I've been, that Xbox is the best find I've seen at thrift stores in God forever. It's been a long time, you know, a long, long, long time of going to every thrift store I know, you know. So, yeah. It's like, I remember one time in high school, I, we came across a Nintendo top loader, five fucking dollars. It's stuff like that, it just not happening no more, you know, and everybody is out going to the first store looking for his stuff, going to the pawn shops looking for his stuff, you know, it's, and then everybody's reselling it, which makes the value go up more, you know, but I'm not even going to get into that, so it's just, just, the golden age of hunting is over, you know, everybody's frick, everybody and their mom's freaking doing it, but whatever, you know, just stuff like that. You know, keeps me doing this shit. And I'm going to a yard sale now. There's video game stuff. And he had a Nintendo Wii in the box. And just like the Xbox I'm talking about, it wasn't a brand new Xbox, you know. It was used, you know. It was in good condition, and they kept the box, and they just put it back in the box. Same thing with this Wii. It's used in good condition, and he put it back in the box. For 25 bucks, and there's some crappy, like, Wii Sports, and, you know, Mario Party, and crap like that, you know, and a couple extra Wii remotes. But it's like, man, for 25 bucks, can't pass that up. And he also had a repro um, Atari system. And he wanted 15 for that. So it's like, with prices like that, I'm not going to haggle, you know. And if a repro Atari looks like it wasn't even used, he said they plugged it up like twice, you know. And he said he paid like 75 for it, you know, so whatever. So, it's just stuff like that that keeps me going. And every once in a while, you'll find something like Super Mario All-Stars. Like, at the store, you know. Like, now, I went to a, a couple of video game stores that I know. And one of them, they've got a Power Glove. Brand new in a box. hundred bucks. I almost wanted to get it. But, there's really no market for that, you know, so I passed. But, they do got an F-Zero, brand new in the box. Like, cellophane, everything. 24 bucks. So, if they still have it at the end of the day, I'm gonna get it. 
you know, I'm going to check the prices and everything, you know, and see if it's even worth the 24 because I know it's a very popular game and it's also a player's choice, so it's not one of the original F-Zeros from launch, you know, it's a player's choice, you know, so there's plenty of these games around. So, I don't know. We'll see. Either way. But anyway, I'm damn done for a day, I guess. I've got a couple more places I'm gonna check, but, um, yeah, they, uh, still have that F0 here at the end of the day. I'll get it. Fuck it, why not, you know? I always loved that game, and who knows, I might be able to trade it off for something that I do want, you know. Either way. Alright, that's about it for my first video game hunting.